Pisces, welcome to your love connection for the month of December. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Okay, Pisces, let's see what's going on between you and your person of interest. This has to be an actual connection, somebody um, that you do have an actual connection with. If you like somebody and they have no clue who you are, you might want to watch the singles reading, who's coming towards you. This, you have to have some sort of an actual connection they have to know you in some way so whether you're separated married divorced ex um, you have a crush on someone you're dating whatever the situation here an actual situation uh, connection so we're going to look at how you're feeling about each other and the connection the actual situation um, advice with the situation and the possible outcome are all, all clarified with um, tarot and oracles so please stay tuned and we'll see your situation here if you clicked on the title then there's something in here for you obviously so take what resonates throw away the rest uh, flip flop switch the energies anytime you feel like no that's them and this is me then please do that okay so Pisces I hope everybody's doing well happy fall happy December and this is for whenever you see this tell whenever I do consider all my readings timeless on my channel so um, I do put the date on them just so that my viewers know um, in the order in which I upload. So if you want to go back and watch past readings, I would just go ahead and do that. Uh, playlists are listed below. So let's see what we have. So we have Capricorn. So some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. If not, totally fine. Maybe you have it in your chart or they have it somewhere in their chart. If you know their chart, if you don't know their chart, there is a link below to Cafe Astrology. You can get your full birth chart and also their full birth chart. Um, you need to know where you were born and your time of birth. If you don't know the time, I think it tells you what to put in, like midnight or something like that. So look on your birth certificate. Okay, so let's see what's going on here, Pisces. So first thing I want to do here, Pisces, is get an overall love connection energy between you and your person. See what the energy is like right now. What do we have? Oh, we have the key. And we have the Eight of Pentacles down here. And that's the Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And that's about working on things, putting in the dedicated effort. And we have 33 there. So, and you know, three is all about putting in the work, you know, learning something new, teamwork, collaboration, you know, people coming together, celebrating, rejoice, rejoicing, and that kind of energy. So, and that's double confirmation. And this is like, you know, having the key to each other's heart. So let me just read a little snippet about the key, which is number 33. I wouldn't reduce 33 because that's like a master number. So if you want to know what 33 means, you can always um, just Google um, angel number 33. All right, let's see here. 33, 33, key. Discoveries and solutions are my fort. You will find me in synchronicity, signs, and fate. When I land close to you, know that you have the means and the answers to what is troubling you. Look to my right. I point to what is highly important or what needs to be solved. Hmm. So, and this deck you use like particular spreads and there's a particular way to use this deck, but I just like to use it as an oracle deck. Um, so we're not really going to look to the right because you've got Capricorn to the right, so... But I also see it as the key, like having the key, you know, they may have the key to your heart or you have the key to their heart or something like that. Okay, so let's see. So what I'm going to do now, Pisces, if you're not familiar with my reading, um, I'm going to pull one for you and how you're feeling about the connection and one for how you, your person's feeling about you and the connection. So I will put you here, your person there, but if you feel like throughout the reading, no, that's me, that's them. Please do switch the energies anytime. All right, so let's see how you're feeling about them and the, the connection. Oh, so we have this waiting man here with a flower, Ace of Cups, brand new beginning in love. We have 28 here, which is tens do mean endings, but then there's always a new beginning. So you must, have, you may have just ended something here, and now you have this man here who's patiently waiting with a flower for you to offer his love, his time, his energy, his effort. He's patiently waiting. Wow. Waiting for you. I feel like he's waiting for you. 
28, 10, ending. Maybe you're coming out of an ending. He's waiting for you with a flower to start this brand new beginning in love. Oh, Pisces. Let's see how you see their feeling about you. So they might want to anchor down with you. Here's the anchor. That is securing things, anchoring things down, stabilizing things. That's how I'm taking it. The night nine of spades here. It's about stress, worry, fear, anxiety. So they may be having a little bit of uh, stress, fear, and anxiety about this. We have 35 there, which is eight, which is about action, communication, travel. I feel like you know they're waiting for you. You know they're waiting for they're waiting to give their love to you. Um, you know they're waiting to start this brand new beginning in love. But there's something you may need to end first there with the 28, which is 10 as an ending. And they're waiting to hear from you with eight there with, with about action, travel, communication. So they're waiting to hear from you to say, okay, my ending's done. I can now move forward with you. So they're waiting to hear from you because they really want to anchor this down with you. And they're having a little bit of stress, worry, and anxiety about it, fear maybe even. Hmm. So I just want to read a little bit about the anchor. Number 35 here. With stability and security, I bring peace of mind. I push you to the push you to preserve persevere and help you reach your goal. Watch out for negative cards. They might shackle and pull you down a hole. But no, I'm not getting that. Like I said, they really want to secure secure this down with you. You know, stabilize this with you. Anchor down with you and the birds here are all about news communication so yeah they're waiting waiting to hear the communication from you like okay we can move forward now wow okay they're stressing about it though bottom of the deck here we have oh the fox sneaky fox here nine of wands being defensive and on guard one four five change so I don't know if somebody's sneaking away from a situation um, or, you know, leaving a situation which maybe their person could be you Pisces dealing with a person you feel like is sneaky and manipulative kind of energy. Or maybe you feel like, maybe you feel like you just want to like, you're to the, at the point where I just want to sneak away with this person. But I would suggest not doing that. <laughs> but, um because you have the nine of wands there, which is the wounded warrior. You know, you keep fighting on, persevering on. Just like the anchor said, to persevere on. Things will change. One in four is about change, you know. So don't do anything sneaky or, you know, or maybe you are really sneaking out of a situation. We'll see. Let's find out what's going on with the tower. I really do feel like you both have each other's heart here, the key to each other's heart. You want to work on this together. Eight of Pentacles is a very slow building energy. And usually it's long-term energy. You know, building on a firm foundation, moving forward together for stability. So yeah, really, with that double 33, they're really wanting to work together for the future, for the long term, for the long haul. Okay, so. But you do see the cage there, so somebody is still a little bit trapped by something. You know, and it could be you, Pisces, so as you're, you know, getting out of this situation here, that sneaky kind of situation, whatever whatever it is for you. All right, so let's uh, get one to clarify your energy. The chariot, yeah. Cancer energy doesn't have to be. So, yeah, you're wanting to move this along very quickly. <laughs> chariot here is about moving forward very, very quickly. Success, victory being well-balanced, uh, being in that go-getter um, energy, having a lot of drive, ambition, moving forward. Like, you really just want to move this, stop moving forward with your person already. You know they're waiting for you. Like I said, you may just want to sneak off with them, <laughs> get in your car and sneak away to go see them or be with them. Or maybe you have been doing that. I don't know. All right, so... Let's see what the anchor is here for your person or to a swords energy here. So air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius doesn't have to be. So that is, you know, 
Yeah, they're kind of like confused right now. Like that's usually like an indecisive energy, not being able to see or willing to make a decision. Maybe they have doubts because you got the nine of, they got the nine of um, swords energy there, which is fear, stress, anxiety. So they may have doubts every once in a while that maybe you're indecisive about this and maybe this actually won't come into fruition. I don't know. So let's clarify the chariot. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. That's your energy. So you definitely want to rush to this person. You want to give them love, show them love, express your love. You just want to be with them already. You just have a lot of love for them. And you just want to get in your car and you want to take off. You just want to be with them or them with you. But I don't know. For some reason, they're, they're in the Two of Swords energy. So why is that here? I feel like they're not sure if what decision you're going to make. Like, are, are they really going to be with me? Or are they not? Are they going to make that decision? I don't know. You should see the moon behind here, which does represent Pisces. Oh. So we got the Emperor in reverse. So this is Aries. doesn't have to be. So this is about... <sighs> Emperor upright, you know, is about taking control, taking lead, taking charge. The emperor in reverse is either somebody who's like out of control, like over domineering and like not a good energy. But I feel like with it in reverse here, that they're just really unsure if you're really going to take control, take the lead, come forward in this chariot energy towards them. They're just re very unsure of what's actually going to happen. And they feel like you're, you know, maybe indecisive but sure I see you're not in that energy at all so I don't know why they would be in this energy uh, maybe you're not communicating with them right now because you can't um, because we have all this communication on their side with the eight there and with the birds that you know represent communication so there may not be any communication right now between the two of you and that's why they're in this energy so let's get the actual situation Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. So we got the Ace of Pentacles upright and the Ace of Swords reversed. Right. So there's no communication right now between the two of you. You want the stable new beginning with them. And here's the Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy with the Ace of Pentacles divinely guided. So you definitely want this stable new beginning with them moving forward. But like I said, Ace of Swords is about communication, uh, cutting away things not serving. Um, standing up for yourself, not taking any BS, thinking with truth and clarity. So right now, things aren't clear. There's no communication. Um, you know, either things aren't being cut out that need to be. Um, I know, let's get one more. Let's get one more for you Pisces in this actual situation yeah six of pentacles energy here okay so that's equal that's equality that's equal give and take but you see this person here giving to one while the other is begging behind them so they're they're waiting for you to turn your back on the other person and come towards them and give your attention to them they're waiting for this equal reciprocity this equal exchange, this balance, this equal give and take. Because we got two op opposite energies here of the stable new beginning. The Ace of Swords is another new beginning, but it's in reverse. So there's no communication. There's no new beginning based on truth, clarity, or cutting away things not serving. And that's right in the middle of the spread. So you definitely want that. I think they want to give you balance. They want to give you... They want to give you their energy, you know, they want it to be balanced, but they're waiting on you to release here what you need to release and come to them. Because right now, I definitely feel like there's no communication between the two of you. So let's get, oh, well, let's get a couple more to clarify here. Queen of Cups, well, so that's your energy again. Coming through a lot strong here now, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But you've got your back turned to them over here. So you can't communicate to them right now for some reason. But you do love them. There is love there. 
yeah, they're confused. <laughs> and that's your energy. They're very confused about you. They just, they have no idea what's going on. They're looking at everything, trying to figure it out. Like, what the heck is going on here? I don't know. I'm not hearing from them. There's no communication. Uh, I don't see anything changing. I don't hear of anything changing. I don't sense anything's changing. I just, um, I don't know. Very confused. But I see you want to rush to them and be with them and you love them. But you can't right now. Because you're stuck in this energy over here with that sneaky fox energy. But you're wanting to sneak away to them and see them, talk to them, communicate to them. So let's get your advice. Ten of Wands. Yeah, you need to just release the burdens. Maybe it's a fire sign here, Leo Sagittarius, that you need to release first before you can move on to an earth sign um, or another fire sign. But this is releasing burdens. This is an ending. No, things no longer serving, weighing you down. That's your advice. So one more. One more. Knight of Wands. Yeah, before you can take action towards this person. This is fiery, passionate energy here. This is fire again. Leo Sagittarius doesn't have to be. But again, this is just before you can take action, get in your car or get on your horse. Whatever you're going to do here and move passionately towards this person, you have to release burdens first. So you need to end something and end a cycle before you can move onto this passionate energy. What else for your advice? Yeah, so I saw this in your pre-shuffle, Seven of Swords. Like sneaking away, clarifying the fox over here of sneaking away from something. Sneaky, sneaky energy, sneaking away. So, so let's get one more. Why is the seven of swords? And that could be about, you know, deceit, dishonesty, you know, m manipulative kind of energy, just sneaking away from something. Page of Swords, so I mean, there's a communication. So this is our advice. Communication, clear, open, honest communication. Um, you know, it's all about communication, right? Could be keeping tabs on one another online in some way. But um, yeah, you need to release what's not serving you. That means sneaking away from it or getting out of it however you can then do that before you can um, be honest with your person and move together in this passionate energy all right so let's see what the outcome is here for you and your person Pisces Pisces if this isn't you it's your person so we got the nine of wands energy here Leo Sagittarius a lot of fire here so this is the again the wounded warrior been through a hard struggle, hard fight, hard battle, but they keep fighting, persevering on. So not to give up there, keep fighting on, keep moving, going on, doing what you need to do. She got nine, ten. Ten after ten and ending is always a new beginning. And the two beginnings are here. One's upright, one's reverse. So energies are not balanced right now. And that's what's needed. So let's see. Yep, stress, anxiety, fear, worry came in on their side also so you both may be in that energy of stress fear anxiety and worry about the worrying about this but there's a uh, nine of cups here so this is joy happiness um wishes wishes and dreams coming true wish fulfillment also can mean overindulgence with all those cups so just be mindful of that it can also be an independent energy so I think you will become independent and single on your own and you will get your wish fulfillment, but you have to keep fighting on and, you know, there is going to be, I guess, stress and anxiety on both parts here, but I do see wish fulfillment here. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we got two nines here, three nines. Wow. We got nine, 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 which is almost at the end of a completion. We don't have the nine of pentacles. That's the only one that's not here. Wow, three nines. Wow. You may want to look up <laughs> angel number 999 too. <laughs> wow. Or nine may be a significant number to somebody. You're almost there. You're almost at the end of the cycle. 
I feel like you're stuck at the nine and you can't quite get to the ten. So this is telling you to keep fighting on and you'll get there. And then you can have this new beginning and turn this ace of swords upright. Be able to communicate and have that truth, honesty. So yeah, for soulmate union here. Wow. <laughs> Soulmates coming together. Soulmate union here with the two of cups energy. Water energy here. That's your energy. Five of swords here. So this is about, you know... Oh, it can be about ego, uh, doing what you have to do when you don't care how you do it or who you hurt. So just be mindful of that energy. So the Queen of Swords here, uh, divinely guided energy, Libra Gemini Aquarius. This is also standing in truth, communication, honesty, clearing away things, not serving, standing up for yourself, not taking any BS. Yeah, needing to leave somebody out in the cold and cutting that person out that is no longer serving you and knowing your value and your worth here with the empress which i believe is libra and taurus so it doesn't have to be so knowing your value your worth birth of new things um embodying all the queens of the deck being the mother being a very motherly energy yeah walking away from what's not serving you and there's the Ace of Wands, another brand new beginning with the Ace of Wands, very passion, passionate beginning. So you have passion, you have stability, you have truth and clarity. But you need to walk away from things no longer serving you, stand in your Empress power and cut away and leave that out in the cold, which is not serving you. Be mindful of being in an ego or doing things that are in that kind of energy. Because I do see soulmate union here. So soulmate union can happen. But either you or them needs to cut away things not serving. Whew, okay, Pisces. So Pisces, if you do like my energy, you like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. And if you subscribe, you'll get four readings a month. I do a love connection. I do a singles who's coming towards you. I do a general collective, um, general tarot forecast can be about love, sometimes it's not. And I do a spirit messages reading, what you need to know from spirit right now. So please do subscribe if you're interested in all that so you don't miss out, hit the bell. If you do, thank you so much. And also check the description box below on how to book a personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff down there. Thank you to everybody who supported the channel. Um, it's greatly, greatly appreciated. Couldn't do it without you guys. And I love to do this for you guys. So the more you support the channel, in any way, whether it's donating, reaching out for a reading, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff will help to grow the channel. YouTube will circulate it more. The messages will get out to those who need to hear it more. So thank you so much if you do and helping with the channel's growth and being a part of that. Okay, Pisces. So let's throw some romance angels on this, on your situation here for Pisces. Let's get some romance angels for Pisces, please, in this situation. In this situation. Please, Spirit, thank you so much. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So I don't know why if that's your kind if that's why you're kind of stuck where you are right now, because it has to do with finances and career. And maybe that's why for some reason you're kind of stuck where you are. Can't really move out of it. I don't know, but um that's a message for somebody honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together so you know you could have you know time coming up alone together here in the future and keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations so this person's very different from you um and maybe that's why they feel like you're indecisive because maybe at one time, you might have said, I don't know, we're too different, or this may not work. But I see you could have changed your mind because you really wanted to rush to them and have this soulmate union. And then we have children. Your life, life, your love life is being affected by children. So maybe you have children in the situation you're in now. And so that's keeping you kind of stuck. And also with the finances and career for some of you. What's on the bottom of that? Express your love. So some of you need to express your love. Um, and make the romantic gesture. And then we have worth waiting for under that. So divine timing is at work in your love life. So worth waiting for, express your love. So, 
Okay, Pisces, so uh, good luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always said with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.